see in the 3d view over here so uh, let me just uh, rotate this okay so you can see that we got uh three axes right x axis y axis and g axis over here and over here you see x axis and the y axis okay to understand the grid system that is followed in e tabs consider a room okay all right so room that you're right now room that you're right now in okay so this is your room right uh, let us assume that uh, this corner okay so let us this corner and this axis over here represents the x axis then in that case this axis represents your y axis and this axis represents the z axis this is xg plane this is yg plane and this is over here is the xy plane so if you draw something uh, something like this and if we see from the top that we'll see on the xy plane and if we see from the side that we'll see on the xg plane all right once you understand this we'll model a simply supported beam in etabs okay so uh, let us take a simply supported beam as an example so uh, this is our simply supported beam over here and uh, so the span of this beam uh, let us take as six meters Six meters and a load of uh, let us apply 20 kilonewton is applied at the center of this span so we'll model this beam on e tabs and see its uh, shear force diagram and bending movement diagram and deflection okay so we'll do this thing in our introductory tutorial if I place uh, this in support at uh, this point this origin point then uh, you can see that the beam will go like this and we'll have a roller support somewhere here okay so uh, we'll need one grid at this position so uh, another grid at where the load is applied and the third grid uh, at the roller support right so we got one two and three grids in the x direction okay or you can say on the xy plane in the x direction on the xy plane okay so this is the significance of grids so whatever you want to draw you have to draw with the grids right so uh, we want to draw a beam so we need to have a grid line along one x-axis so for our uh, hinge we need to have a grid line for this load we need to have a grid line and this we need to have a grid line okay so uh, this grid is by default and we need to edit it so for that just right click here and click on add modified grids or you can alternatively go from edit and click on edit stories and grid systems so uh, this helps you to edit the story data so for example if you got a building of two three four five six stories you will edit the story from here all right so uh, we'll click modify so story data over here so here story 4 has been selected so we don't have any stories because right now we are just planning to model a simple beam okay so we'll just delete story 4 story 3 and story 2 okay so hold shift and click on story 2 and right click and click on delete story so delete existing structure at story so after that just click ok and uh, grid system so uh, this over here so this is the entire grid system that we have so uh, so g1 grid system has been uh, defined by default so this grid system is the g1 grid system that the software has defined so we can add a new grid system or just modify this grid system okay so we'll click on modify so grid system and uh, so you can set the name of the grid system that you want so a system origin so we'll keep the origin at zero meter and uh, display rectangular grid so display grid data as ordinate and display grid data as spacing so we'll click on display grid data as ordinate so it means that it will take this point as the origin and based on that origin it will take uh, the value of other point with reference to that origin okay x grid data so in the beam we have got one grid that is at zero so uh, grid id a so this grid id a over here so it has the ordinate of zero uh, because it is at the origin so we need another grid for the load right so the load is at 
3 meters because the span is of 6 meters and load is at the center. So we will hit 3 and hit enter. So our next grid is at 6 meters. So click on, so just type 6 and hit enter. So next grid we don't need. So click on delete. Okay. So in the Y grid data, so we don't have anything because the grids are only along the X direction, right? Okay, so we'll just select these uh, two, three, four grids and click on delete. And we don't have any other general grids, right? So you can change the bubble size if you want. So bubble size means size of these bubbles, all right? Okay, so reference points and reference planes we don't need right now. So we'll just click on OK for now and just click OK.